Hi, I'm Eric with Matthews, and in this video we'll take a look at how to troubleshoot a burner that won't light. We've used various different burners and igniters throughout the years, but all of them have a few things in common. We need fuel, and we need spark in order to get them to light properly. So, the first and easiest thing that we want to check is we want to make sure that we're getting gas to the burner. So, in order to do that, we'll go ahead and take a look at a representative manifold. We're standing next to an E600 dryer, and we'll want to take a look at the plumbing manifold. So you'll want to look for anywhere that you see a manual hand valve, and make sure that it's in the open position, in line with the gas train. Assuming all the hand valves are open, you want to look at your solenoids and make sure that those are opening when they should. If you have a Honeywell solenoid, you'll be able to determine if it opens by looking in the viewport on the side. And if you have an ASCO solenoid, you'll be able to determine if it turns on by listening for a click when it becomes energized. If you don't think that your solenoid is opening properly, you'll want to check the wiring to and from the solenoid to make sure it's getting power. And if it's not getting power, we'll want to take a look at our ignition board. So we can see here two of the ignition boards that we've used. We have our 120 volt fen wall board and our 24 volt DC fen wall board. We've used a couple other ignition boards throughout the years, but this has gone on a good portion of our machines and they all work in a similar way. During the ignition process, these are responsible for giving the command to open the gas solenoids. So if you think the solenoids aren't opening like they're supposed to be, double check that these ignition boards are getting power and that there's no lights on them indicating some sort of fault condition. If you think the ignition board may be behaving strangely, you might need to replace it. So, if we have uh, the solenoids opening and we have gas coming through the burner, the next thing we want to make sure is that we have a good spark. We've used various spark plugs, but we can see a few of them here. This is our Midco spark. We can see the ground and spark plug here, as well as the flame sense probe. Your spark plug may look a little different depending on which machine you've got. You might see the configuration we see here for your spark, or perhaps uh, this Maxon spark plug. And then your flame sense probe may look different too, depending on your machine. They all function the same way. Um, so if we want to check whether or not we're getting spark, one thing you can do is remove your spark plug from the burner and bring it somewhere that you can see it. Go ahead and try to start your ignition process and verify that you're seeing the spark plug go. If it's not going, you may need to replace your spark plug. You should also inspect any of the wires going to or from the spark plug. Make sure that they're not damaged and that they're securely fastened. Assuming you're getting spark, the next thing we want to check, we already know we have fuel coming out of the burner, but let's make sure that we have enough fuel right next to the spark plug. So if we look at our burner here, this is a Midco burner. We've used uh, different varieties throughout the years but they all have similar concepts to them. If we look inside, there's several holes down on the pipe on the inside where the fuel comes out. I'm going to go ahead and mount my flame sense probe and igniter assembly here. And when I do this, we'll see that the igniter down in the bottom is only really by a couple of fuel ports. One of the things that you'll want to do is make sure that those fuel ports are not blocked and that you're getting sufficient fuel out of them to get right next to the igniter. During the off season, debris or other uh, material can get in the way and prevent gas from coming out where it needs to be. So if you've cleaned those out, another thing you can try is some machines may require baffle plates around the igniter in order to help pull more gas by the spark plug. Hopefully one of these tips has helped you get your uh, burner lit. I hope this video has been helpful and we'll see you in the next one.